Donald Trump has a bone to pick with the producers of The Apprentice, the controversial biopic about the former president's rise to power in real estate. Railing against the film in a rant on Truth Social, Trump called the project fake and classless, adding, it's a cheap, defamatory, and politically disgusting hatchet job put out right before the 2024 presidential election to try and hurt the greatest political movement in the history of our country. He also addressed the portrayal of his relationship with his first wife, Ivana, who is heavily featured in the film, which also covers their courtship and marriage. My former wife, Ivana, was a kind and wonderful person, and I had a great relationship with her until the day she died, Trump claimed. The writer of this pile of garbage, Gabe Sherman, a lowlife and talentless hack, who has long been widely discredited, knew that, but chose to ignore it. Referencing his current presidential campaign, Trump added that he finds it sad that the people involved in this hopefully unsuccessful enterprise are allowed to say and do whatever they want in order to hurt a political movement. Iranian-Danish director Ali Abbasi, who helmed the film, didn't hesitate to extend an olive branch to the former president. The filmmaker reposted Trump's words on X, formerly Twitter, and offered to have an extended chat with the Republican nominee, just as soon as Abbasi can find the time. Thanks for getting back to us at Real Donald Trump. I am available to talk further if you want, Abbasi wrote. Today is a tight day, W, a lot of press for hashtag The Apprentice, but I might be able to give you a call tomorrow. It's nice to see Mr. Trump remembers Roy Cohn, S. Second Rule, admit nothing, deny everything, Sherman added in a statement obtained by EW. The screenwriter is referring to the lessons Trump learned from his mentor, Roy Cohn, as outlined in the film, Always Attack, Deny Everything, and Never Admit Defeat. Tom Ortenberg, the CEO of the distribution company behind the film, Briarcliff Entertainment, added, We have overcome insurmountable odds, including threats, intimidation, and legal challenges by the Trump campaign trying to prevent this film from being seen in the U.S. We've proven that with tenacity, we can overcome un-American efforts to suppress dissenting voices and retain the freedom of speech that is paramount to our democracy. This is not the first time Trump has made his distaste for the biopic clear. Though The Apprentice just arrived in theaters this past weekend, Trump previously threatened to sue the filmmakers over his portrayal, with his spokesperson calling it a concoction of lies. Meanwhile, the film stars have stressed that the film is not an attempt to vilify Trump, but to understand how he became who he is today. The film traces Trump's rise to power throughout the late 70s and early 80s as he rapidly goes from unsuccessful real estate heir to the cutthroat, power-hungry mogul who takes New York by storm. Its complex portrait of Trump includes several far-from flattering details. Stan's character is seen getting plastic surgery, mistreating his late brother, taking amphetamines, and in a particularly disturbing sequence, appears to be portrayed having non-consensual sex with his former wife, Ivana Maria Bakalova, inspired by what she once alleged happened in their 1990 divorce deposition. She later denied her initial testimony, saying she felt violated, but did not mean to be alleging rape in a literal criminal sense. Prior to the film's release, Abbasi and his collaborators weighed in on the possibility that Trump would view and eventually comment on the movie. I'm sure he's going to watch it at some point, Abbasi told Entertainment Weekly. I feel like we've been fair, and I almost feel like there are a lot of things to like. Jeremy Strong, who portrays Trump's mentor Roy Cohn, felt differently. I hope he sees the movie, but I actually don't think he would, Strong shared. I think there's a lot in it that he would recognize. And I think there's nothing really in this movie that he hasn't acknowledged and even bragged about at some point or another. I hope he sees it. That would alone be worth making it. Sherman, who penned the film after covering Trump for years as a reporter, said, He doesn't strike me as the most self-reflective person, but I think it would be fascinating to see him experience this part of his life and either agree with it or disagree. Whatever response he had, I think it would be really interesting. As for Stan himself? I have no idea, the Marvel alum replied. It's very hard for me to know how he reacts next to anything, so I have no idea, and I can't speak for him. It seems like he's got a lot going on, so I'm not sure he'll have time, but if he wants to see it, I'm sure he knows who to call.